Welcome back, everybody, to the UK Americana Bar Show video podcast. Thank you for joining us. Before we play part two of the Pet Savage interview, just enough time to tell you about some of the artists that are coming on the show in the next few weeks. Artists like Roseanne Reed, a Scottish songstress. She is absolutely unbelievable and award-winning. Really look forward to seeing her. Plus, we've got a guy from Nashville, Tennessee, called Cam Bogle. He is absolutely magnificent. He's telling us all about the festivals across America and Canada that he's been on. We've also got Honey Rider. Yeah! They're coming on the show. About time we've been trying to get over them for months. They're coming in here. And don't forget the interview that we do with Eleanor Spring Strike and Gareth Newton. Tell us about their new TV show, The Road to Nashville. They are fantastic. So, without further ado, Pat Savage, the second part. Love this guy. What an entertainer. What a song, song, songman he really, really is. Tell us all about his uh, new TV show, The Savage Roads, and about his Harley Davidson. Check him out. What was that big thing you were telling about um, Brian Adams? The, the song? Yeah, I was number one in across Canada for I think it was six weeks almost. Wow. Which cool. was yeah, number one in in ninety one. And then he released Fits You Good, that album, that first album of his went to the moon. Yeah. And kicked me to number two. And then uh, <laughs> you know, and uh, he was a mate of mine, so I said, ah, yeah, So we went on for years like that. Oh yeah, you kicked me down to number two. And it was quite traumatic at the time. It was number one for that six weeks. And then uh, I went down to two and three and slowly slipped down, you know, back down into obscurity. But that's my one, my one, I was going to play it for you. Yeah, play it for me. It's called Chasing the Clouds. And it was dedicated to a friend who passed away. Uh, And it's about friendships. uh, uh, Yeah, you you miss each other. And yeah, you get it. It's all sorts of uh, good. Looking out the window, it's another rainy day. But you and I have sat here many times this way, and it's been a long, long time. It's great to see you again. Chasing the clouds, chasing the clouds away. All the times we spent apart, different things we've done, never changes what we got, or all the songs we've sung. And it's been a long, long time. It's great to see you again. Thank you, Pat. Oh, about time. <laughs> chasing the clouds, chasing the clouds away. Slipping away, think of you most every day. I think of you, storm is here, we can still play. Let's talk a while, chase the clouds away. There's another couple of verses, but we'll keep it short. Jet is chasing the clouds. Oh, Patrizio, grazie. Your beer is wonderful. Music and beer. Music and beer, <laughs> salute. I rode into the city of Genoa to visit the birthplace of Pesto. Buongiorno. Come stai? Come stai bene? Che cosa ha mangiato oggi? Pesto? Of course. 
you know, the main guy, the main cheese. <laughs> I mean, of course, you've won lots of accolades around the world as well. Everything that you've done, all the awards that you've won. Yeah, we, yeah, I've done well. I've been very lucky that way. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't base success on awards, yeah. and I don't. New think... York and Canada and Europe and. All over the world, yeah, everywhere I've, uh, you know, that was sort of my, once I became number one in Vancouver, I thought, well, okay, I'm a top band in Canada, now what? States, Europe, States, Europe, well, I went to the States, it was either California or Nashville or somewhere to make it, you know, or Austin was another, uh, perhaps. We actually moved to Detroit first, we got big in Detroit, and then we spread out all over the States. But uh, I got really lucky uh, when I first hit California in 86. I went to all the bars, you know, all the jam sessions yeah. looking oh, for, really and, 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 and the yeah. adverts for uh, looking for a guitar player, looking for yeah. you know, a session guy or whatever. I did a bunch of auditions and I passed them all. They all said, yeah, you can join us if you like, but I didn't find something I liked. And then one night, these three guys, uh, four guys were on stage uh, in Santa Clara. This is a very important story. I'm going to keep it in the shot here because okay. this is very important. Okay. Changed my life, basically. And we're sitting there, and I had my uh, a telly, sort of like yours, a beige. And uh, my mate, unbeknownst to me, went running up, you know, in his break or in between songs and said, yeah, we have a famous Canadian guy, Pat Savage, from, uh, from uh, Vancouver. State guitar. I don't know exactly what he plays. So, mm-hmm. so I get up there with them, and they're all obviously really good players. And I said, just play right off your set list, whatever you're going to play next, you know. And we did Steely Dan, and we did Doobie Brothers, and I thought, okay, that's my two songs. You know, normally you're at a jam, and they give you two songs, and then hustle you off, especially if you're good. Well, they were like, no, 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 stay. And the crowd's like, stay, yeah, stay, why, yeah. So suddenly I'm in the band for the rest of the night. So I stayed up there. So at the end of the show, big accolades, met a girl, everything was groovy. And uh, the drummer comes up to me and goes, hey man, I gotta talk to you. Do you, do, you want, do you want a gig? And I was like, yeah, sure, of course I do. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm, that's why I moved from Canada to get a pick up with a band and mm. get famous, get busy. Well, uh, I just have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. He goes to the toilet and I go, anybody know who that is? And they were looking at me like, you don't know who that is? I'm like, no idea. It's a doobie brother. Oh, it's Michael no. Hasick, the founding drummer. Oh, one wow. of the original dr- drummers. Yeah, with Pat Simmons. And, uh, and uh, so so he came out, and uh, now I'm a little bit like, you know, I'm 25, 26, I guess I was 26. Green under the ears, whatever, under the gills. Wow. And that was it. And next thing you know, they were doing this, uh, it's called a bodega reunion. Uh, and what it is, it's celebrities from all around the Bay Area since 19, I think it was 69 or 70 was the first one. So all these bands come out of the Bay Area. So I'm there on the rehearsal day, the first day I walk in and I called my Irish mom. I had to call my mom because I was freaked out. I walked in, there's Stevie Nicks, there's Santana guys, there's Doobie Brother guys. They're all from the Bay Area, which is San Francisco Bay Area. They all came up to the Grateful Dead, uh, Eddie Money, uh, Wow. God, you know, so many of the of, of the titans of that era. Yeah. And here they were, and they do it every year to, to raise money. Well, I was the only guy that stayed on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dave Brown from Santana. You know, he'd get up and then went, now on another bass over here, we got sometimes two bass players, three drummer, two drummers and two percussion. You know, it was a big deal. And I'm the only one that stayed. I did a song by uh, Johnny Winter called Stranger. A stranger in this town. It was so appropriate, you know. I was the only guy that nobody knew. But by the end of the concerts and everything, I had Eddie Money's number, and I, I want to talk to you. He said, you know, because his guitar player was, I guess, in, uh, on his way out, or yeah. It's a long story. I don't like talking about who I well, played you, with. You, you can you go to my with website. So many so greats. Yeah, exactly. So BB King. Tell me about BB King. Well, BB's a special story. Um, I would rate him at the top with Joe Cocker and a couple of other, you know, giants. Legends, really legends. You know, we've got a correspondent in Nashville called Eric Dahl, and what Eric's famous for is he found B.B. King's guitar in a thrift shop, which was stolen from him a few years. I think it's called Betsy's guitar, I'm not sure, with Betsy. Okay. Um, hey, you'd love to meet Eric, he's a good guy. Well, he... Uh... How did you find uh, B.B.? Uh, oh, well, well, that's a long story, but what happened was uh, we ended up with my agent, I've got a really good agent in uh, France, 
And he just rang me up and said, how'd you like to open up for B.B. King? And I said, hell yeah. Where? Helsinki. <laughs> Helsinki? Finland? Yeah, yeah. So we went there and I got up there and uh, I've met almost every blues man. I mean, Albert King and Albert Collins, was good. they're both good friends. Well, you, I played so with them all the time. You see these uh, who's who of who. Well, so yeah, yeah I, the I, animals. You know, oh, the animals, that was right here in England. We played... Uh, Opened up for them at the uh, what's called the Rock and Blues Custom Show, which is um, it was it was Saxon and 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 uh, when the Eskimo gets here, everybody but a Manfred band. Okay, it was well, an all-star guys. lineup: the, the Animals, yeah. and then there's little old me opening up for. Actually, but the Animals were first, and that's what I couldn't figure out. And so I went backstage actually and. And Eric was there, and he, you know, introduced me. He knew me from Detroit days. I'm like, okay, because I lived in Detroit, and he's huge in Detroit, and so was the band. So, um, must have a million. So I was like, so is, is this correct that you're opening up for me? I said, oh well, you know, we're kind of elderly. We like to drink our tea and go home after the show. You know, we get off early and go home. You know, it's, you'll see one day, young man. And I was already in my fifties, right? So yeah. So they opened, they opened for us, the animals. And then, uh, of course, we did a killer show. And then we did, uh, then it was Scorpions and um, Scorpions. Uli Van Roth. God. And I think, and then Manfred Van. And yeah, some big names. So I've, I've done that a lot. And, and especially in the motorcycle industry, I see a lot of these bands are from Britain. A lot of them, Slade and Swede. That's right. Yeah. I played with all these guys. Why? Because in the motorcycle industry, everybody's between 35 and 70. Mm. So all of those bands from the 70s and 80s still got jobs. And still rocking. Whatever's yeah. left of them, you know. I mean, they still have a market uh, in the motorcycle, uh, especially so specifically got, Harley Davidson. You still got free topics on the go. So you got uh, the band is still live and kicking. You got the TV series is rolling, and now the acting thing, a bit more serious. What you be playing heavies or maybe playing? No, I'm gonna you know, read for. Stars. I'm gonna try different parts. Yeah, they're, they're, obviously I looked the part of the heavy, the biker, <laughs> the tough guy. I'm here in Bosana Vecchia, a lovely town that was literally destroyed in the 1800s by a huge earthquake, and stood abandoned for about 60 years. Uh, in the late 80s and 90s, a bunch of enterprising artists came along, sort of camped out here, and with permission and money from the owners, rebuilt it to what you see today, which is lovely and renovated and just gorgeous and is an artist community. So we're gonna check it out today. Guy, whatever. Kevin does a lot of that stuff, but he also performs as a doctor. Kevin is this big love, he's 72, big man. I'm hoping to get him on the show as well. Yeah, yeah, you'd love to have him on here. He's a wonderful chap, real colorful. and. Uh, yeah, I'm surrounded by police. Actually, my 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 uh, my main uh, my Chris Chris is uh, in, like he was special branch for years, and then uh, uh, Bob, my Bob, and Kevin are retired Kent policemen, and then Sam. Hi, Sam, all the way down in St. Louis, retired FBI. My judge is, just, I mean, my lawyer is a judge, is a state judge in Louisiana, so I'm surrounded by... You keep it in the family. Well, it's, no, 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 I'm not related to cops, I don't have any cops in my family, nothing. It's just the way the it's team, happened, they're the honest team, people, yeah. in, in, they're team. good people, and they're honest, good people. And you need and they ride Harleys, you. and you they need ride that around Harleys. you, don't you, when you're doing huh? the, you need it around you when you're doing this kind Well, of stuff. the security, yeah, for sure, when we're filming, uh, especially on location, we need a couple of guys there to just keep all the kind of regular people out of the shots. So, so getting back to the TV show, I mean, mm -hmm. it's played on every continent. It's played all over the place. I've seen you in Australia. We know Vancouver, mm -hmm. Spain, uh, now London. So I mean, that is so exciting to go back around on Harley Davidson meeting people. So what? How? Mm -hmm. When is it coming to our shores? Coming to the TV here in the UK? Well, the thing is, right now I've just signed with WTM. Uh, Looking Wonder to Talent it. Management, Donya. Hello, Donya. Hello, everybody. I just met them all. Good, you're a great big schmooze last Saturday. Talk about networking. He's good at it. <laughs> Pick me. So no, I, uh, I just, I'm overwhelmed with joy. Donya's wonderful. She's at the top of the industry, uh, I'm casting a agent for many years in a big, big uh, firm, and now she has her own firm with some wow. other people. I met people from 
I mean, you know these names. I don't know them really so well. They're British. Uh, mm, uh, what was the one? Can Canterbury Street? No, uh, the one. Coronation Street. Coronation Street. Coronation Coronation Street. Street. Yes, I met a director from there. I met EastEnders. EastEnders, all of these great some celebrity yeah. stars, and also some up and coming uh, people, some musicians. It was a, like a, again a big schmooze, but all under the banner of uh, Donya and her and her gang, Chloe and and the girls for uh, Wonder Talent Management. And it's very specific that it's small. And it's not like, oh, we have a thousand clients, you know, hey, you're really good. You really so like they can you. focus you know, on I'll call you tomorrow, the job you know. Yeah. No, they have a small amount of people yeah, that yeah. are all specializing. I'm sort of the wild guy, like the the Jason Momoa, somebody said it several times. Yeah, you like Jason Momoa? So I'm like, what? what? You know, animal well, look, savage, right? Pat, it's really been great talking to you, and mm -hmm. I hope you're going to come back on again. Absolutely. You've got to send me some show. tickets. You've got to send me some tickets when they're out in the band. Absolutely. And you're going to get me in the back of the Harley because I've never been on the back of the Harley. I'd like to do oh, that. That'd be awesome. Well. We could film there too. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, for the minute, Mr. Pat Savage. You heard him here first. Thank you so much Thank for you, having really me on the show. It. Yeah, I look forward to next time. Yeah, you will do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome. <laughs>